So today we are going to head up towards the sheep walks and have a look at Shenston's Chapel, maybe taking Samson's Cave and uh, head over to the Cat for a beer, maybe have a look at Emble Church, then uh, head back. So uh, thanks for sticking with me guys. So here's a rapeseed oil field. You've probably seen in one of my other videos, the field turns completely yellow at the start of the spring. And um, these pods form, form like little black seeds. Are they black yet? No, they're, they're still green, so it's not ripe yet. Next time you're in the supermarket and you see rapeseed oil, you never know, might have come from this field. So we're on the prairie now where the horizon opens up. Here's another rapeseed oil field. But here's the top of the walks and I found one of these coming up. There we go. You know what one of these is, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Tail feather of a pheasant. Used to use them for quills, for writing, before pens were invented. Oh no! Considering it's a Saturday morning, so peaceful up here. So this tree here is an old ancient tree. It's that old. The soil used to be up here, look. These are the roots. It's been washed away over the years. It's an elm tree. Yeah, let's pop you in here. Okay, so just come here, the door's open, wide open. Oh, old chaps. Quite a lot's changed since I've been here last. It's like um, someone's left the door wide open. And someone's like arranged these candles here in like a circular. Yeah, they've been burnt, they've been lit. Yeah, two in like a circle. And they've exposed the uh, the tiles. Fucking strange. Has anybody ever seen this before? Tempera powder, a picture of a dog. In this, in this bucket here, powdered paint, paint stones. This, this was just chucked on the floor. Hey, look, guys, we've got some uh, chicken fungus. It's actually edible shit. This is it's quite tasty. But, uh, never tried it. The Bible's gone. How sad. Yeah, so these window frames used to be stained glass windows. All. Yeah, so this door here originally used to have stained glass all in it. You can see where the partitions used to be for the windows. This is an original door though. all the old render or just what's left of it so originally you wouldn't have seen any of this brick probably would have been painted white beautiful see all the original gutterings gone would have been old cast iron guttering Original floor tiles here. See how thick the tiles were. Yeah, some more here. Yeah. How thick the quarry tiles. So I'm heading um, 
over towards uh, Enville. And we found what looks like a, well it is a natural stream, which is running off the top of the sheep walks. And uh, it joins up with a lake, which is further on down there. Look at this old tree here, all this moss growing around it. Uh, it's a little bit muddy here. Bit muddy there is. So this place here guys, just a bit further on up from there. It's got these weird little hatches. I think it used to be some kind of chicken coop or a dog kennel or something like that. Got kind of like a plaster on the wall. So it's as old as Shenston. Just a bit further on down from Shenston than this is. It's, uh, I think the roof's completely collapsed in. Yeah, so this would have been like a well house, which would have had the, um, the natural spring that's creating this pond here. So the famous Enville Brewery, which is over there, which has been going on for like 200 years. Well, the original recipe would have used this well water here. This would have been a well house. So the lake's over there, which has been fed by the well house over there. Shenston's chapel is up there, and I've spotted something I've never seen before. Um, this, like, monument is it? I see over there in the distance is the hall. Filming this on a GoPro camera. <laughs> so everything's gonna look like it's further away than it actually is in real life. So here's Enville Hall here. Yeah, so I've just spoken to a beekeeper up the road there, who says uh, how horrid the bees have had this uh, winter, with the mild winter that we've had. Um, he hasn't been able to feed his bees and he's lost four out of his five hives. So we just visited the only shop in Enville here, which is the uh, post office. Oh, you look at this, you see the cross on it? Yeah? This is a coffin lid. Oh, there you are. Sorry, the pub. Yeah. So we've made it over to the pub. A taste of uh, some ginger ale. Oh, that's, that's delicious. Hello. Uh, two fish pies and a side of chips. So we've made it over to Samson's cave. So here we are again at Samson's. Let's have a look what's changed. Okay. Not a lot really. That used to be 
here when somebody used to occupy it. Oh, there's spider webs. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a bit of the drain. Okay guys, so just coming back to Kemba, I spotted something a bit weird. It's a fire hydrant with somebody's shoes. That looks like they've seen better days. Fire hydrant, nothing in it. 